Hi, I'm Glenn Martinez from Mola Monte Gardens, and this is the Rotus theme new all teaching aid to teach aquaponics. This one here is the air pump. It pumps the water up, comes over, it's called the burper, it comes over here, and this demonstrates a center bed with a false bottom. The water coming in here is going to fill up this container. When this container gets level to here, notice they're connected by a pipe here. When it gets up to this level, that level is then going to overflow here. It's going to come down and it's going to siphon out. When this water siphons out, it will drain this container down. When this container goes down, it will take the water through this pipe and this one will come down until the water in here is below the false bottom. And then the air break, this pipe here, it's in a sensing pipe. When it gets down to the bottom, there's a clear pipe on the other side, and you'll see the water gets down, it will break, and then it will set the level, and then the whole thing will fill up. So this is high tide mark was here. We're going to drain all the way down to here. Notice we're below the level. Then we're going to get an air break, and you'll tell that when you see the water up here, it drops. Boom. She's gone. Now this will fill back up. When it fills up, it pushes all the air out. When it goes down, it pulls the air in. So it's like a living lung. So this is the first step. This is a little 38 watt pump, uh, puts out 40 liters per minute. Hi, this is the second phase of our teaching uh, platform. This is a mechanical pump pumping water up to here. And we see here that it's running down now. This is a siphon and it's running and the water is running out here. When it gets to the bottom, the glass here will break the siphon, boom, the air like that and then this will fill back up and this will go up and down up and down and so when you're standing over here closer you'll be able to see when the water comes up to here the water in here is going to start overflowing the standpipe you see the standpipe is right here when the water gets up there it'll overflow and this is just a bell a glass to other people it'll be there and then the water here will overflow and it'll come out so now we come to an overflow mode and then this one will start coming out. And there she goes. Now that water will go out four times faster than it's coming in here. Okay. When it gets to the bottom, the glass is going to break 360 all the way around. And voila, we break the siphon. The next little teaching demonstration is this one. I'll switch the air to this. And that we have a little switches over here on the side and we can turn different pumps on. And this one is a pipe and a pipe pump. Two inch on the outside, one inch on the inside. We inject the air in the green pipe here, comes in, goes down to the bottom, the air is released, comes up, shoots up here, falls down, this is called the collector, comes into here. Now this would be full of whatever cinder or gravel or crushed glass or whatever you want to use and this would fill up to here and then you would see that the siphon, this is the bell siphon here, this would trip. And so this is one part inside the other like this. So the water can come in the slots in here, it goes up until the air can get into the top here and it can break. So as we approach to the top here, I'll set this over the standpipe. We're about two inches from this going off. And when it gets up to here, you're going to see, voila, she will flush. And it'll come out much like this other one did with a siphon up the center. This is your false bottom here. So your rock or your gravel is above that point. And below is your flush zone. So now we come up to the maximum level that she can do. And then this one is going to flush here in just a minute. And then we'll watch it come all the way down. Again, it'll go out four times faster than she came in. So it's pretty neat stuff. You'll notice also how aerated the water is coming up here. By using air to pump the water, we stay with our rule. One country, one god, one pump. And it pumps all the way up to here, falls down, and then heads over to the side. Super aerated. Okay? It's about ready to come up. Now you see these are running simultaneously. This one's on a mechanical pump. This one's running on an air pump. Behind you, you have a tea maker. We'll turn that on in just a moment. So in all in all, this is your aquarium, your fish tank. This is a standalone cinder bed siphon filter. 
This one is a bell siphon. That's a tea maker. And on the other side is the air burper pump, which we'll show you next. Now, this one's gone off. Now, notice how rapidly the water is going down. Notice where it's going out over here. Now, this water will go all the way down below the false bottom. Now, there would be rocks between here and here, which would be your gravel filter. So will get all the way down to here, and then this will drain off. You hear the little burble burble? Then as you broke, now this will fill all back up. And again, when she fills up, it pushes all the air out of the rocks. And when she goes down, it sucks it in. So it's a pretty dramatic system. All right, this is the Old Monte Gardens Tea Maker. The fish tank is down below us. It could be a 55-gallon drum of water or whatever you got, old bathtub, anything. You put a pipe into it, you bubble air down the green hose. The air is bubbling up in here. The nifty part is when I take a sack of worm castings here, and I take it and hang it in the barrel. When you do that, you simply take it, drape it up here like this, pop a rubber band around it to hold it, tuck all this back in, and you let this run for 24 hours. Now this is going to fill up to here, and then she's going to go down. She's going to fill up to there, and she's going to go down. And whatever container you got below you, in 24 hours, you're going to have yourself 50 gallons of worm tea. Great stuff. Hi, this is the Old Amata Gardens Burper Pump. You can take this, this pump here can be set it inside the tank, totally loose, or you can connect it through the side. What it does is the air is being pumped in right here through this green hose. This is only 38 watts. The air comes down, it pushes to the left, and it pushes to the right. When it tries to go to the left, it runs into a check valve. It can't go very far, so it stops. So it comes back over this way, and it finds, wow, it opens up into an inch and a half, then into one inch, then she shoots up to the top. What does this do for me? Well, this is my fish tank, and this is some colorful fake fish manure. We're going to take it, and we're going to put it in the pipe that leads to this pump. And what you're going to do is you're going to see solids go through this pump. We can send rocks through this pump. Anything that will fit through the one inch. And so what I have is this little pipe here. It's just about this high on the inside. And I've just dropped my little fake fish poop into that pipe. And we see it now coming through the check valve, coming around the bend. And every bird, she surges, comes here. And you see a shooting up there, all the way up, falls down, exit stage right into the cinder bed. Now when it comes out over here, what's going to happen to it? The worms are going to eat it all up for me, okay? This that cinder bed that we showed you earlier, it fills all the way up to here, then on the other side, the pipe siphon drains it down all the way to the bottom. But you see all these solids going through? Try doing that in your mechanical pump sometime. Anyway, real proud of this. Very, very versatile pump. Okay? Now, let's say you have the ability to drill a hole and put it in the ground you can go to this pump. Now this is an airlift pump. The air is going to come into here. So I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to send the air in that direction. We have a little switching devices. And now you're going to see the water here is coming up. Now this two inch pipe goes all the way to the bottom. There's a one inch pipe in the middle of it. We send in the air into the two inch, but it can't get into the one inch until it goes to the bottom where we've drilled some holes in it. And then those little air goes through the hole, comes up here, and burps up here, much like this one. But this pump is much more efficient. It's even better if I came off here and I dug a hole two foot in the ground, and I put a three inch diameter well. Then I could have a much greater performance out of it. And it's pumping the water up here, as you see, into my cinder bed filter, and then that will drain down and that will clean my fish tank. So here we got a little 50 gallon Stanley toolbox. It's going to double to be in a fake fish tank. You know, you could really raise fish in it. Watertight container. You've got an air lift. You've got a standalone aquarium filter on it. You've got a tea maker. You've got a burper uplift. You've got a cinder bed with a high-low false bottom. You've got a pitcher over there, just so I can ask you if it's pitcher perfect. It has a pipe siphon hook to it. The next device going around the corner was your bell siphon, the one that we had with the glass. So, all in all, this whole case, everything goes into it, 
70 pounds and he goes on the airplane. Pretty neat stuff.